in travel today. Our resident travel writer, Debbie Griffiths, is back in the Harvey Norman Lounge and feeling a bit nostalgic. Morning. Yeah, good morning. Well, it was about this time last year that I was down in Southland. So I was looking through all my video, my footage, my photos, and I thought, so many people I know mean to get to Stewart Island but just haven't got there yet. I think you're one of them. Am I, I would right? definitely put myself in that category. Definitely. Yeah. So I wanted to revisit that destination because I might be able to tip you over the edge and get you down to Oban and Half Moon Bay. Take a look. It's a quick hop over the Fovo Strait, just 20 minutes by plane from Invercargill to get to one of New Zealand's most undisturbed ecosystems. Verhana is our guide today and she believes she lives in paradise. 93% of the island is conservation estate, quite rightfully. Uh, we've got pristine marine environment, we've got fantastic forest and bush. It's one of the least modified parts of New Zealand and if nature is what makes you tick. I don't think there's many other places that you could find uh, to call your home. We start our day on a boat in Patterson Inlet. This 100 square kilometre natural harbour opens out to the east coast and is surrounded by the bush-clad shoreline of Stewart Island. The water is near pristine. There's no commercial fishing here and recreational fishing is controlled. Fahana is constantly scanning for wildlife. Looking out for dolphins, I'm looking out for blue penguins, little blues and yellow-eyed penguins. Um, I'm looking out for any of the mollymawks that decide to come through. I've seen seals feeding on things like octopus and fish just on the water. But uh, every day is different and always looking out in case you're ever so lucky. Whales are extremely rare, but if you don't look you won't see. We're joined by small albatross. These are white-capped mollymawks. And this is exactly the kind of experience overseas visitors flock here for. It's a lot of pleasure to show clients um, these beautiful birds and the clients are thrilled to see them. Especially our overseas visitors, um, they never, they're often telling us that they have to spend a few hours before they actually see a seabird on some of their trips overseas. Whereas we get out um, on the water within sometimes 5-10 minutes, we see something special on these albatrosses. There are about 20 islands in Patterson Inlet. We hop off the boat at the largest, Alva Island. It's been predator-free for more than 100 years, declared a reserve in 1899. So bird life is flourishing. You'll see things like saddleback, yellowhead, Stewart Island robin, um, parakeets, red and yellow wecker, and a whole bunch of other birds like our very cheeky kaka parrots. After lunch at the historic South Sea Hotel in Oban, we check out the local telegraph and find the punchline to the joke, what's brown and sticky? Before a quick walk on the 36 kilometre Rakiura track, this is one of New Zealand's great walks. It's uh, become more popular, it's a lovely easy graded walk and you can do it all year round. It's a three day walk, so the first day from the road end is only about eight kilometres to Port William Hart and then the next day you go inland through to North Arm Hut, which is situated near the coast and then back into the village. Uh, very, very easy. Probably only about uh, three, four hours walking on day one and day three and about six on the last day. A great place to watch the sunset is Observation Rock. Great views back over Patterson Inlet. Okay, so give us some stats on how big is the Rakiura National Park. Okay, well Stewart Island is about 1,700 square kilometres. In comparison, it's slightly smaller than Oahu, that's uh, Hawaii's main island, bigger than Hong Kong, for example. Okay. So that's wow. how, yeah, yeah, I know. And uh, Rakiura National Park takes up about 85% of Stewart Island, and it's one of New Zealand's newest. It was established in 2002. So where would you go for the bird life and for the and for walking tracks and things? Oh well, there's heaps of walking tracks you can do. There are some bigger ones if you're feeling really adventurous you can spend a wee while out on those walking tracks. Uh, 28 k's of road on Stewart Island, 280 kilometres of walking track so it's all about getting back to nature and you can really tell when you're there as you saw in that piece I had some really close encounters with some bird life like uh, there was a bellbird about from me to you away from me oh, singing cool. its little heart out it was gorgeous and a little Stewart Island robin as well so great for bird life and also, I've been told you can see kiwi in the daytime sometimes. So keep your eyes peeled. Kiwi in the daytime? Yeah, yeah, they come out. That's of. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Hey, thank you so much, Debbie. No worries. I do want to go there, but maybe I might wait until summer. <laughs> maybe okay. Might just wait until summer. <laughs> For help planning your trip to Stewart Island, a useful website is stewartisland.co.nz.